Steve Mignani here for Asseter Auctioneers and the great Texas Mopar Horde auction event with item number 259, a 1970 Dodge D100 half ton long bed swept side pickup truck. This is the original yellow paint and black top. What a wonderful survivor this is. Down low, what looks to be discoloration and maybe some body putty, nope, this is steel metal. It's just a paint blemish is all that is. Really fantastic shape. This bed is really nice, really smooth, no dents. The cab itself, we do see a little bit of surface rust here, some bubbles here, but nothing major. The magnet sticks, so that's basically very, very thin putty, if, if, if anything at all. That's really, really nice. Let's open the door and look inside. And yeah, the uh, automatic on the column, Torque Flight 727. The dash pad is a little bit cracked, but present. That's pretty astonishing for a truck that lived its life in Texas where the sun would have burnt that to crispness. Um, inside, very nice floors. The yellow paint is correct. Don't see any perforation. Well, okay, a little bit of a perforation here, not too bad. This probably had a rubber floor mat, but again, you can get patch panels for this. Not a big deal at all has the correct dashboard, everything's there. The AM radio is missing, but the uh, bezel is in place for it. Let's move up ahead. And the fenders, again, very, very nice. I don't see any rust here. And again, this is the original paint. Okay, a little bit of bubbling right here on the cowl top, but again, it is metal. These bubbles are honest, they're real, no effort to fill that. That's good news. It's, I'd rather see that than a, an inch of Bondo. Inner fenders are wonderful under the hood. Very nice, this is often full of holes and rust. The engine is missing, but I love what I'm seeing here. 383, this is a factory 383 big block pickup truck. Here are the two head pipes for the dual exhaust system this one's had, the live axle, the frame, the motor mounts for the 383 big block. Now keep in mind, you know, most pickup trucks are utilitarian vehicles, six cylinders, small blocks. But this was a 383 big block half ton pickup truck. Pretty rare bird. Coming down the other side, front fenders are equally nice. No rust here. Down low, some dents. Yeah, it is a work truck. It's been hit right here, the cab. But again, these panels are available in reproduction. Take a peek at the door inside. And I've got to say, the cab does show a little bit of perforation here. So a bit of rust, you know, right there. Not too bad. The top is nice, but a little bit of moisture happening here. Let's trade places, I'll open this door. We'll look inside, and again, that's the inside. And indeed, right there, that's the big block water pump right there from the 3D3 engine. Uh, looks like factory, well, an air conditioning pump right there, so that might be factory stuff. But again, this is a half ton, 383, two wheel drive Dodge pickup truck. Does have a uh, aftermarket cap on top of the bed. This guy right here, the bed itself here is looking very, very nice. Uh, does have a dent in the rear, but again, you can either pull that out or perhaps weld in a patch panel. The rear axle is an eight and three quarter. We see it beyond here. Uh, the data tag says 355, so it was born with a 355 differential, which is a pretty good all around gear ratio. It may or may not be sure grip, don't know. The tailgate looks pretty nice. It's been used, a little bit of you know work scarring here, not a big deal. I can't open it, but uh, let's see if maybe we can manage to bring this. No. No. Uh. Okay, yeah, nice. No holes. These often are rotten down here, but not here. I love the plate here. Truck Texas uh, GH4035. Here, Beasley Motor Company. Hot Springs, Arkansas, apparently was the dealership that sold this new or sold that bumper. So that's the story of this half ton Dodge 1970 383 big block two wheel drive pickup truck. These are very uncommon. It's a solid one. You need it.